Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Swiss Cheese, and we just hit 100 subs. Let's go. And it's been a week since I drafted, so let's quickly jump into this. Treacherous Greed has an additional cost. It's an additional cost to cast this spell. Sacrifice a creature that dealt damage this turn. Draw three cards. Each opponent loses three life. You gain three life. That kind of seems weak. I kind of just want to take the Novice Inspector. I haven't gotten to play with it yet. And I was joking last time, saying that as this um, set devolved into Burrow's Aggro already, but apparently I might be right. I've heard that it has, in fact, <laughs> turned into a Burrow's Aggro. But yeah, we hit 100 subs. So I'm thinking maybe next week I will try to do a, um, a Twitch stream of me just drafting. So if you guys do want to join in for that, I'll have my um, Twitch in the description. But well, yeah, here, pick two. I'm looking at the Makeshift Binding, which is a good removal spell. Could also take the Surveil Land, as it is Boros. But I think those are the real picks here. Piece of the Filched Flank Falcon. To solve, you control three or more artifacts. So in this case, enters the battlefield, investigate. And once it's solved, you can pay three to sacrifice this case and put four counters on target non-creature artifact. It becomes a zero zero bird. So you can make a artifact into a four four. Flyers, not bad. But yeah, to follow up the novice inspector, I think the makeshift binding does make sense. Essence of Inquisitor. Yeah. I talked today. Essence of Antiquity, 5 mana 110 uh, with Disguise. When it's turned face up, creatures you control gain Hexproof. Untap them. There's also a Shock here, which I think is pretty good. But again, we can just keep following up the white with the inside source, like 3 mana 1 1, which also makes a 2 2 detective when it enters the battlefield. And the 1 1 is always relevant because it, it can give your uh, detectives plus 2 plus 0 oh, and Vigilance. Yeah, inside source. If you weren't, if you weren't so heavy white, I'd probably just pick the shock out of this pack. I think flight fight, faith flight is a decent combat trick as well. Saves your creature, then gives it flying. Pick four. We have a rare audience with Rostani. Create a O one green. Plant creature token, then draw cards equal to the number of differently named creature tokens you control. Don't think that's anything special. I'm looking at the Museum Nightwatch. 4 mana 3-2. When it dies, it makes a 2-2 two, two white and blue detective creature. Otherwise, you can also just pay 3 to disguise the Nightwatch. When case file enters the battlefield... Or whenever you solve a case, look at the top six of your library. You may reveal an enchantment from among them, put it into your hand, put the rest at the bottom of your library in any order. You may spend mana as though it were any kind to cast case spells. Still, there's some decent white still. There's also a tunner, tunnel tipster, which I am a fan of, so I might just pick that over the decent white. I do think tracker's okay. Just a four mana, three, two flyer. And I do like having one of these um, vigilantes at the top of my curve just a slice from the shadows kind of late spell can't be counter which is nice so gets around the ward ability but i haven't tried tell this tipster and it just seems really really good so let's pick it up here ace of the ranch Shack lab instant sorceries spells you cast plus one last to solve you've cast Four or more instant sorceries this turn. Okay. <laughs> Don't think we're doing that. Got a five mana five five. And when it attacks, you may suspect it. Got a fanatical strength. And I think the combat tricks are pretty good in this format. Especially because of all the ward. Making removal harder to cast. Inspector is also good. Ah. Uh... I'm gonna take the inspector here. Okay, another museum night watch. Also, a thinking cap. I do like this card. I probably have a decent number of detectives already, too, but I guess our insight source makes one. 
and the Night Watch makes one, so we kind of have four. But we could probably pick up the Thinking Cap later. I'll pick up the Night Watch for now. Oh. One for Death Touch, face down, creatures you control have, pay four, turn it, but turn this creature face up. If you can't exile it, then you may cast the exile cost without exile card without being its mana cost. Whenever an assassin you control deals damage, cloak the top card of your That's a good card. Why is it so late? And I think we're kind of far from it. So I'll probably just pick up another inside source, but Peak? Pick eight is kind of crazy for that card. There is a Panther, which I do like, but I kind of just want to take the two drop because because of the way best of one is, and you just want to curve out, so. Yeah, this feels bad. Like, the Panther is good. And I'm just picking a two drop over it. Yikes. <laughs> Ace. Wheeling seems interesting, but I could just take this. Uh, disguise creature. Wield the essence. I don't know if I run this card, but a 110 is a big old booty for sure. Investigators. A couple of picks that don't matter. Masker Girl. Creature you control have wither. Whenever a creature and opponent dies, if its toughness was less than one, draw a card. No amazing white cards right off the bat here. That's really good, actually. I'm just trying to face up, put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature in control. And otherwise, just a four mana, four, four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm leaning towards the white to green for sure right now. We are passing on a witness. And a panther. And I guess the uh, savior as well, because we can play that. We can flip this with double white. Yeah, I like the radical here. Another panther. I guess we can take the granite witness now. Granite, granite. Putting these all as threes because we can um, disguise them. Ooh, eggs. The specialist is very good as well. Okay, maybe the blue is still an option. Otherwise, we could take a Phantom as just a decent white spell. Or the Thinking Cap now. Yeah, when this turns, when is, this is turned faced up, return another target creature to its owner's hand. Okay. I'm willing to be open to the blue white as well as the white green whenever you cast an article whenever you cast an artifact spell investigate uh activate abilities of artifacts you control plus one less to activate this effect can't reduce the Mana cost to less than one. High alert. I don't think we're doing that. I think the slimy dual leech is really good as well. Also a ace cracker and a slide slice from the shadows. I think we'll take the ace cracker here. We're pretty weak on removal right now. The sprite is pretty decent though. Yeah, it looks like we're I think I'm gonna be blue white instead of green white. Maybe I should have picked that um two drop though. We definitely need a lot more twos. I think this is a little too hard to solve. 
We have another cold case cracker here over the Phantom. But yeah, aside from the binding, we don't have any removal. And we don't have a lot of two drop to pressure, so this could be a bit of an issue right now. That is a two drop. How many ways do we have to make artifacts right now? One, two, three, four, five. Still don't think that's enough for the case. I'm just gonna take the bubble smuggler since we need the two drops, and that's a great two drop. Sorry, witness, but yeah, whenever a creature with power two or less enters a battlefield, the skin's flying. Nice, nice. Love that we picked that up. Wouldn't the Panthers kind of crazy? <laughs> yeah, I could see us running the Savior. Put in the sideboard for now, though. Yeah, we haven't really, aside from the Panthers, we haven't seen anything crazy from green. So I'm kind of glad we make the switch. And nice, we can pick up the thinking cap now. We got eight detectives plus the two inside sources. So, and the two night watches when they die. So at least like 10. Like I don't really want to run this 110, but it's kind of nice with all our flyers and kind of gum up the ground. Yeah, this deck is looking pretty good right now. We're only on pack. Well, now we're on pack three. Whoa! Planeswalker. Oh my god, is it doesn't seem that great? I probably don't want a night watch. Mill to draw a card. For four mana, triple blue. Don't think I'm going to play another Night Watch, though. And that's the only other card I'm considering in this pack. Also a Yara Stam. Other creatures you control have haste. Whenever one or more based on creatures you control deal combat damage, draw a card. You've already Whenever a based on creature you control dies, you just don't I think know it, it just brings it back and flips it. Ooh. That seems kind of fun. Whenever a detective enters the battlefield under your control, and whenever a detective is turned face up, put a plus one plus one counter on it. And to solve, you control three or more detectives. And if it's solved, if one or more tokens will be created, uh, those tokens plus one is created instead. Okay, let's give that a shot. But yeah, I don't think we're gonna run this chase. I kind of just want the dramatic accusation over this falcon. Yeah. It's kind of a, a cool card, though. Uh, when it's turned face up, you gain control of target permanent you don't control. Oh, whenever it attacks, you gain control of target permanent you own but don't control. And when it's turned face up, you can give your opponent any number of permanents you control. And you draw a card for each one you give them. Whoa, second Atrata? Could have had two? Oh, the private eye is nuts too, right? That gives detectives plus one, plus one. All right, all right. This deck is looking pretty sick right now. More two drop detectives, please. Counterspell? Or another Night Watch? It's a mana leak, right? Counter target spot unless his control pays three. And it exiles it instead, putting it in the graveyard. Maybe. There is a Vigilante here. Did say I wanted one of those. Technician? Or Museum Night Watch? Don't have many non creatures. What is better here? 
I also don't know if I'm gonna run either. Maybe I run one of these hotshot investigators on the top end. Ooh, nice. Another novice inspector is amazing. So I don't think we're getting any more twos after that. Escape tunnel, maybe. Another two drop. Maybe. How many detectives did we end up with? Ten. Ooh, eliminate the possibility. I actually do want that in this deck. Creature opponent controls get minus 2, minus 0 until end of turn. If any of them are suspected, they are no longer suspected. Nice. I can cut one of these automatons. Don't think we're running either of those. You like this is just too slow? Again, I don't have much interaction, so I might want to run this. Hmm. Hotshot Investigators. Enters the battlefield, return up to one other target creature to its owner's hand. If you controlled it, investigate. I just don't know what I'd cut for it. The rest of the card just seems so much better. Well, I guess I'll start deck just like this. Got a pretty good looking curve here. And a, um, a little low on removal, like I said. But we still have the binding, the accusation, plus the exit specialist. And um, the counter spell as well. And then we have eliminate... The impossible has a pretty good combat track especially if we go really wide like this um deck seems like it will do yeah let's just run it no blue in our hand but i do think this is capable especially if i want to like surveil for a land if you don't draw land next turn i probably will play the automaton Yeah. Ooh, okay, this kind of hurts. It's okay, we'll find a blue source, right? <laughs> right? Game wouldn't do me dirty on game one. After coming back from so long. Yeah, it's about to pass through their turn. I mean, if they come back, they still have a chance since we have not still drawn our blue source. And, yeah, there they are. Okay. They're totally fine then. I think I do this too often, though. I'm like, oh, we're sure, for sure gonna draw the other color. What are the chances that we don't? And then you never do. And I never learn. Never learn from my mistakes. It's okay. It's okay, it's just a game. It can't hurt you. Just a game, Jazz. You can... You'll be fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yaras. Okay, thank God we can at least binding that. Oh no, they can flip it. Okay. 
Oh, it's only if it dies, it gets flipped. All right, I panic there for a second. Okay, let's get that out of my game. Still zero blue sources, which is what I love to see, guys. A blue source next turn will be really good. We can give this flying by playing the sprite and equip it for one mana because it is a detective. Get in for like three in the air. Ooh, a rare. Enters the battlefield, discard a card, then draw two to solve. There are no cards in your hand, so I'm pretty far from that. At the beginning of your upkeep, discard your hand, then draw two cards if this case is solved. Case of the Crimson Pulse. Seems pretty decent. But they are like a little behind right now, so we don't mind seeing something like that, something like that from, the, from them. <laughs> However, it would suck if they got like a two mana removal spell. It seems like they do because the way they're reading my uh, phantom. Yep. Unfortunate. Ah. Uh, that sucks, but I mean, what are you gonna do? <laughs> I think this game would have been really easy, like, if we just, like, just one blue source would have been fine. But now every single spell in our hand is blue, so even if we draw these single blue source, it might not be enough. I guess we plow, uh, play out the inspector, then we're pitching spells for islands which is not great either yeah this game just feels very unlucky Ooh, looks like they got a removal for the automaton as well There it is, but it's just way too late, right? <laughs> oh, troll. Maybe they don't have a way to get past a 4-4. Four four. <laughs> have to rely on these flyers to win as well. I feel like this is a pretty big boy underneath the face down card. Maybe the 6-7. Just because they haven't flipped it yet. Oh yeah, opponent on like 3 color. Get two of each land. It's my trample. I mean, it's not the worst for us. You know, we're actually kind of okay. We can tap down the panther. Drawing, are we? Because we kind of want everything here. Yeah. Attack for four.
And I think I will get rid of the reach creature. Okay, we have a chance still. I thought we were out of it, not hitting that blue source for so long, but now I'm kind of hopeful, but <laughs> yeah, we are kind of low still. But we do have another two turn clock here with the Vigilante plus the cap, so. Okay, don't kill me or the sprite. I will block their face down card now in case they can pop it into something with four power. Stressful game one for sure though. Oh, do they have another fight spell or something? I mean, they could have just gone for lethal, but I guess this is going to work as well. I don't know why they didn't attack both there. That's unlucky though, eh? Yeah, we do really poorly and the opponent do perfectly. Not much we could have done there, really. Maybe they don't attack or something. Ah, let's get out of here. Alright, let's do better game two. Draw both their colors, please. That would be nice. Pretty salty off for that first draft, not gonna lie. First game, but... God, again, man. Alright, it's keepable. I think I will keep the normal lines here, right? Because turn one, we go novice. Turn two, we play island to keep that open. And if they don't play anything worth countering, we can sack the... Um, token, so maybe we just get rid of one of these inside sources. Now I'm just worried about screwing. <laughs> ah, can't believe like I had the removal spell for the last turn too. So brutal. Maybe I just want to sack the clue to make sure I hit a land. It's like countering. That is kind of annoying, though. Alright, just hit the land naturally, please. Ooh. Okay, feeling pretty okay right now. And we have the private eye to buff our two detectives on the board. But maybe we'll just play the cold case out if we draw a land. Ooh, maybe they have a bunch of cases in their deck. They did not hit. Just attack with both these detectives and play out the cold case this turn. One four is a big booty blocker though. Oh, I, mean, I guess it's better that than the private eye. Find would be another good draw. I think if I just want to play that now. But if we draw a land, we can just play specialist and flip. So I think I'll go with the private eye to push a little bit more damage now. With the 
accusation and specialist in hand. Feels like we can get through for a bunch of damage. Maybe I should be running that escape tunnel, that uh, evolving wilds type card. Thinking cap's pretty good. Makes their guy like a two six. Yeah. Well, I guess that doesn't really affect the blocks right now, anyways. Nice. Yeah, let's play this face down. And then attack with all of these. If they block my private eye, probably will bounce the case file. Even if it does get him a little value. By out flipping our exit specialist. Because it it's going to take them three mana to replay that. Got rid of their witness, which is nice. All right, one one. Ooh, can't O through, which is nice. Okay, on the play with a great hand. So let's keep this. It's game three, I believe. Whoa, the O three. Cheat. Cheat. At least we can fly over it for a bit. What's better, the inspector or the hard evidence? Investigate. Okay. Whenever one or more non-token creatures you control die, investigate. Okay, maybe that's not too bad. I was just spooked when I saw it though. Yeah, I like getting the flyer online. I'm just pressuring. I guess I can have a ton of removal. Oh, it's okay. You control, you control. Okay. I guess we kind of want to get this on the board now. We can go this plus the automaton this turn. Seems okay. The automaton gives our phantom flying. Yeah, inspector's okay. Play it alongside the inside of source next turn. Plus it gets the counters from the case and we get to flip the case right there as well, right? Ooh, the cadaver's pretty good. The clues. Oh, that's a great combo with the homicide investigator. Nice. But it is pretty slow, I guess. Like, I'm wondering if I just attack and play eliminate the impossible right now. Ooh, now I definitely will. Nice. That works out really good for us. Kills both their creatures and neither of ours. We do get token though. But it will cost them 6 mana to um, use a clue and play Cadaver in one turn. But yeah, they got some nice synergy. The zombie detective. So we gotta kill them before they get too much uh, value here. 
And now if a token will be created, it creates that many tokens plus one since this is solved. So the inside source creates two two twos, which is very nice. We play that before combat to give our phantom flying once again. Oh, thought I got two. Oh, plus one clue token. Okay, sorry. Sorry, I had been reading that. It kind of just like auto-completed the end of the solve. But it, whenever, it, whenever one or more tokens will be created under your control, those tokens plus a clue are created instead. Okay. Not too bad for us still. We can actually keep up with their value, potentially. But we don't really have <laughs> the mana to use utilize these clues yet. Here comes the cadaver, I'm assuming. Yep. Fortunately, no land, but yeah, I think we just swing out for the pressure here. Play out a night watch. Do they have time to replay the cadaver again? Let's find out. I think they'll likely just die if they play out the cadaver here, right? Because they're only left with one mana. So aside from a rock... Ooh, Cryptic Code is really good. Thankfully we didn't see that earlier. When you enter the battlefield, cloak the top card of your library, then attach Cryptic Code to it. Equip creature gets plus one, plus oh. And can't be blocked and then you can return this back to your hand to keep her casting it later that deck is pretty sick but yeah let's play this out face down to give our phantom flying and i think i'm not gonna use the inside stars because i feel like they have something so instead i'll attack with these three And if they block, block, I don't have lethal. Alright, I'll attack with the inside source to make to force them to actually have something here. Which it seems like they do. Okay, they got gain two life here. Okay, they do survive and they can eat my inside source if they want to. Oh, they're just trading with the night watch, okay. Still got a 2-2, two -two, so I'm actually totally good with this. In fact, it's a 3-3 three, three due to the case. That's another clue. <laughs> right, we got four clues and no time to use them. So hopefully the opponent doesn't have a board wipe. <laughs> there are, there is one in black and one in white that I've seen, so very real possibility that they have one in their deck. And I think we got hit by the red blue one, the um, last draft I was doing. Nice. 2 1. On the draw with a okay hand. Hid. Okay hand. We got both their colors, which is good. And uh, no more lies on two is fine since we don't have anything else. Oh, were you last turn? Oh, it's Inspector. Under the inside source again. That's funny. But no inside source of our own. I guess I'll play the Night Watch face down instead of the sprite here.
no plays. I kind of want to play double inspector instead of the cold case cracker here. To see if they have a counter of their own, potentially. And then we can just sack our clue at the end of the turn. Might be wrong if they don't have anything, but we can also flip our night watch if we'd like to. We'll see what they do here first. A 4-5. When it enters the battlefield or attacks, you may sacrifice an artifact if you do draw a card. I think I will just draw here over flipping the night watch. Yeah, I think I like playing the sprite plus a two drop here, get in for some damage as well. That four five is pretty, <laughs> pretty big and in the way. Yes, please. I can give our detectives unblockable, right? Whenever you draw your second card each turn, target detective can't be blocked this turn, so. Pretty nice with the clue. Next turn you can go I plus Saka clue. Give um, <laughs> an inspector unblockable to get him for two more damage. If it resolves, okay. Game. <laughs> They have like a removal spell or something, right? That's hilarious. <laughs> okay, yeah, they get to eat my three. They're they're okay right now. Maybe I should have just swung out with everything there. They only get to eat one of my creatures, right? Take a uh, two for six more damage. Yeah. Ooh, the special is actually an insane draw as well. You can bounce their um, problematic creature next turn. Yeah, I think I should have considered attacking all. You know, I'm just gonna do this right now. See if it gets them. Helps in good game to me. They definitely have something. Alright, that's not too bad. Do I want to trade? I think I'm okay with trading my morph for their morph. We have plenty to do with our mana. Nice. Can search our library for magnifying glass and thinking gap. Well, library. Battlefield? Sorry. Library, graveyard, had or library. There we go. Um kinda wanna use this on here. Two, four, five, six, seven, or one off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just let's just kill him next turn here. <laughs> Try to read that output or wasted so much time. But yeah, nice three wins. So yeah, if we uh, lose the next couple games, at least we get a thousand gems back, which is always, always nice. On the play, missing a blue source. But again, this is definitely a great hand, right? We got a good one, two, three on the play. And we did draw our other mana source, which is nice. Good as well. Looks like we can hopefully just curve on the opponent. Whoa, a 1 3. <laughs> kind of stops me from doing what I want. 
I think we play the witness here. And maybe we just flip it next turn to tap down their 1-3. <laughs> which is completely walling me. It's too good. It's too good, guys. They Strider, best card in the set confirmed. Three different colors? Dude. How do the opponents do it? That's really good as well, right? He has three down to something. Whenever one more creatures die, mill a card. And sacrifice this if you if it has five or more counters. Turn target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Deal three with upside, basically. Let's attack with both. And I will flip my um, witness if they block and if they don't I'll just play out the inside source here but I'll at least block the inspector so a little weird that they didn't block either but maybe they really need the mana ability on the strider which is also scary we have a potential niv mizzet in our future Maybe like a model removal deck too, which would be a problem. Next turn we can get in for quite a bit of damage potentially. I thought I had one more mana to uh, flip the witness as well, but a bit of a mistake on my part. Yeah, I got. I think Niv Mizzet. I feel like it's a Niv Mizzet coming in right here. Here we go. We do have the binding part, which is good, but here we go. Here we go. Niv Mizzet. Calling it. And if I'm wrong, I can just cut it out and no one will know that I was wrong. Or some editing. Do it. Do it, I'm ready. Bring out Daddy Mizzet. Okay, maybe they don't have it. No! I'm binding that. Nope. What do they get rid of? I wasn't... Wasn't paying attention, what do they exile? Oh, just a token. A token, okay. Finally found a third source. We can flip this now. Get in for a few extra points of damage here. And feeling okay right now, especially with this removal spell in my hand. But if they kill my witness, I feel like we're not in an amazing spot. But again, one more land and we can flip this with four counters on it. And it'll be a 6-5, right? Yeah, 6-5 is pretty big. But yeah, we'll see what they do here. Still have four cards in all the different kinds of mana. Did draw a land here. I feel like they have something. Guess that's okay since we don't have anything else to do. They probably can't kill my witness if they kill the smuggler here. No, I should have attacked with the novice inspector as well. Excuse me? I was wrong, they could. Up to one target upgrade. Dang it. All 
Alright, L. Rakdos is also insane. I will not sacrifice two things. I guess I can makeshift it, but now they have a lot of card advantage on me. Yep. All of a sudden we're losing. Could I have played that differently? Just swung out maybe? that I cannot keep open the flip on the specialist here. <laughs> okay, never mind. We weren't gonna beat that. I guess we could have bounced it here, but uh uh we're just being wrecked. Oh um I'm gonna play that house. I could have played that safer. Could have not attacked this turn, but don't think that's a winning play either. So I think we were just screwed no matter what. Maybe. Maybe we can mill them out somehow. Okay. I guess they have the insect with reach as well here. Sure. So all you want. I think you can win with the thinking cap if they don't have like an instant speed removal spell. Yeah, I'm going to take this here. Damn it, two reach creatures. Now, is there anything we could draw? I don't think so. Got a hexproof too. <laughs> Got a hexproof card as well. Is that is that what you have, sir? Rakdos has killed too many of my runs. I've only played three drafts, and I've seen Rakdos too many times in those three drafts. This is this game is rigged, guys. I'm telling you right now. We're so close to lethal too. Game is going on too long. Another rage creature coming down. Yeah, I don't think there's a way we can win this. I mean, I guess we have a chance if he doesn't play his other rage creature. And we draw... Something? Draw something from the deck? <laughs> I think this card's left in their library. If 
like so close, but I'm almost certain they have a removal spell for the spray deer. <laughs> I didn't play the reach creature, so. Ooh, just a counter spell? We have a 10, a 10 trample. Alright, you got me, you got me. Rock those cool. It's cool. It's fine. It's fun. Okay. Awful hand. The mana just hates me today. Not a good day for mana. That is better. Probably pitch one of the two drops. Probably automaton. And hopefully draw another another blue white. I feel like we played against blue white quite a bit too this draft. That neighborhood guardian is pretty scary as it will outrace us. Yep, they're me with a better curve and on the play, so we're gonna have to get a little defensive here. Yeah, we'll play out the inside source instead of the inspector. I doubt I'm walking with the phantom, so. Specialist is nice to bounce there. You two. Dang it, the lifelink enforcer is also going to be a huge problem here. Ooh. Guess I trade. Even though I can bounce it later, it's gonna take too much damage otherwise. Ooh, also needed a land here to play out my cold case tracker, so let's try to dig a bit. There's the land. Wanna lose a vigilante either though. Land problems. Too many land problems this time around. That's a good binding target though. No, no. <laughs> okay, Spectre down. Do they have a creature to follow up? They don't. So hopefully we can at least trade for their guardian here. And then we can binding next turn. We might be almost stable. Can double block. But that doesn't help against the plus two plus two. Okay. All right, we're not completely dead here. I think I'm play the specialist and bouncer tracker. Ooh, it's a close game though. Yes. That is what we want to see. They can't replay the tracker now. Oh, 
full smuggler or cold case cracker here. Either way, we're attacking. I think I like the cold case cracker because if we draw a land, I can disguise the smuggler and then accusation their flyer. My graveyard. It's gone. I still like accusationing their flyer. They just seem like they don't have anything else in their hand. draw because we can flip our smuggler next turn maybe it was better to buff with the now nah, that only pushes one more damage i think it was better to draw a card there instead was pausing so I was worried they had a trick but I just assumed it was the accusation. Feel pretty good if we can win this game and get to four wins. Dang it seems like they have something here. Out cold. Yeah, that does work. Makes me glad I didn't use the inside source ability. Alright, they're doing okay. That uh, out cold is going to slow us down a lot here. Give them time to draw some cards. Find, uh, find some outs. Like seeing a face down creature of their own. It's done. Just the insides, that's okay. That Land draw is not okay though. He hits detectives. Yep, let's just attack for two here. Still get a 2 2, but yeah, drawing a little too many lands. We do get to untap next turn. See what their face down card is. We don't really have any more removal left in our deck. Oof. We can cast one of our spells without paying its mana cost here. Keep down my bubble smuggler again.
You have some decent attacks next turn, though. Wow, how many lands in a row is that, though? You have to block one of them at least. <laughs> like we've drawn nothing but land for like the last four turns. Might be being a little extra, but that's what it feels like for sure. Is a good draw. Lethal creature that draws a card. Okay, sweet. Whew, all right, four wins. So that's basically all of our money back except for 100 gems. So that does feel good. Everything from this point on is strictly profit. Oh my god. <laughs> Three. It's fine. It's fine. Four and two. See if we can get that fifth win. Definitely got a mulligan this hand. It's better, but not great. And honestly, I kind of want to just pitch up planes here. So we have two draws out of land. I feel like this is right. Or we can draw the inspector. And then draw a card on turn two and search for a land. Nice. Still would have rather drawn an inspector, but land's also good. Want it with a good one to play here. I kinda like going really wide with these inside sources. I might pitch the witness. The witness is a good flyer. Yeah, I think I will pitch one of the inside sources here. But yeah, opponent's gonna go one, two, three here and then <laughs> I guess I should have pitched the planes. Should have believed I was going to draw another one. Yep. Oh, that's alright. One doesn't have too much pressure, at least. I think I like getting the inside source online for the witness. Ooh, that's really cool. So whenever a one or more creature cards... Whenever one or more creature cards leave your graveyard, create a 2 2 detective creature. Don't think I attack. I think I just put the witness here and pass here. Need one more land to start playing out our four drops. But they're actually in a position where this chalk outline will start to get out of control. Yeah, let's flip our witness tapping their maverick and attack with both our detective and our witness here and it looks like they're flooding but i can see them playing a six drop here now wow they might just be flooding it's like screw versus flood here I do think screw is normally better you don't want them to put the maverick in the yard because they can exile and put a counter on something Yeah, that seems like the opponent has gotten very unlucky here. Yeah, I think they have nothing but land. Wow. Yeah, that obviously sucks. I mean, maybe they have a board wipe of some sort that will get us. little awkward there. I wanted both the cold case crackers. But double removal should just be good enough here. Oh, they're missing a color. Wow, they pitched a 6-5. I think they do have a wrath of some sort. They can start collecting evidence here.
Do I just swing out? Yeah, I think I like exiling the researcher and just attacking all here. Doing a little shuffle over there, eh? There we go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this this is, I think this is correct by them. If I want to, I don't have to kill their Maverick right here. And I think I, I will put both the damage counters on their agent. So they can't get an additional um two. Yeah, it probably won't matter, but I think I have to go to my settings to put the combat damage on. Normally you can put all your damage on one of the creatures blocking so the other creature won't die again i don't think it's gonna matter here but <laughs> yeah i'll make sure maybe to check out my settings or something after this game maybe right now okay out of sign combat damage take that off oh wow this all reset to normal auto order triggered abilities probably don't want that either Okay, that should be better. Don't know when those um came off. Yeah, look at this. They get to go off a little here now. Getting extra 2-2, but we do have the dramatic accusation to um tap their reach creature and hopefully just get in for lethal anyways. Yep. <laughs> nice five wins. So this uh, draft is a profit. Okay, again, it's keepable because we have one, two, three spells we can play. But we'll, every single game, I swear. Game. <laughs> Another rubble belt, eh? Triple planes every time. Ooh. Wonder if I play the case on two. Hopefully they don't put too much pressure on me. Uh, I'll probably just play the automaton. I'm probably going to morph both of these detectives so they won't get the counter until they're flipped up anyways. Then on a future turn I can play the case plus start flipping. Plus this way I can search for a blue as well. Yeah. No, thank you. Looks like we got some assault type deck against us. Okay. Good. Witness or specialist? I think I like the witness for more pressure. Flipping it and getting a counter on it and tapping something. It's pretty sick. But I guess flipping this and bouncing something is pretty sick as well. Or if they play another morph creature, it won't be to bounce. <laughs> Let's just do that and keep the automaton back. I might just block the face down card. If they attack, to eat up their turn to flip it. But I guess if it's like the one force. Snoop in blue black that would be kind of bad for us what the heck is this select evidence three add one mana of any color sacrifice uh cryptic surveil three then draw three cards activate if cryptic has five or more unlock counters on it okay Play the case and attack with our witness. Do I want 
You know what? I think I attack with both and tap down their Maverick here. Equipping my uh, witness. Ooh. First, last. Guess you want the counter first. No, oh, it's the opposite. <laughs> now I gotta figure out how the triggers work. Since I um, haven't been playing with that on. Yeah, they had to collect a little three, three evidence five times for the sack to activate on this cryptic. I don't think this is a great card. I guess if you have a lot of evidence synergy, it might be okay. Yeah, expected like a gardener if anything. But I probably should have flipped before attacking because this has vigilance. <laughs> And it wouldn't have been tapped right now. Yeah, looks like they're straight up three colors too. Or maybe they're blue, green, splashing, black. But getting a swap there makes me feel like they're straight up three colors. Especially with the fixer like the cryptics as well. They have access to six mana here. Like my witness is uh, not long for this world. Yep. So they still have access to two mana here, so they might play something. Okay. Oh, this inspector's a great draw. Yeah, I think I like tapping down the Maverick here. Choose triggers resolution order. Five five. Never deals combat damage to a player. Investigate. Spectre's another great draw. Hopefully they don't have the reach giver card. Okay, nice. I think it's better to play the specials here so we can just bounce the croc next turn. Some real nice tempo over the inside source. One mana, two threes, let's go. We actually have to solve our case here as well. But we have more than enough clues, so the clues from here are probably gonna be a little overkill. Dilf. Croc Dilf inbound. Also, why sounds like my dog Rocco is home. I can hear him barking. I'm sure we can all hear him barking. Whoa. Do I triple block this? Or is that just bad? They have plus three, plus three has eight attack. I think we take five. Now we have a really good attack back, right? This 
send these, keep back this. Ah, I'm sending the team. Let's go. We should draw land that turn though. I'm tapping that. If I bounce this, they eat a 3 2. And then they take a 3 in the air. Or if I balance this, they trade here, they trade here. I think it's better to keep our flyer alive, especially with the dramatic accusation in our hand. So I think I will flip and bounce their witness. Ah, uh, actually now they can replay the witness. Maybe this was a bit of a mistake. Maybe it was better to just bounce the croc. I guess the thinking cap on the sprite also makes it pretty difficult to block. Yeah, they do need to find something for this bright this next turn. Or I, I guess I should have equipped the sprite before attackers there. That way I could have bounced the croc and they would have had zero good blocks. Yeah, that was the play. Little sloppy, but I guess I, I wasn't thinking about the witness being underneath the morph. And maybe they, um, if I do that play, they flip it before I attack and tap down my sprite, so. Either way, I think I should have probably equipped it first. These plants have reached? No, okay. Don't like my position anymore. <laughs> I really don't like my position. Might also just be dead on the backswing. I also really wanted to land there. Might have played this a little too sloppy. They have some kind of combat trick, we're just dead here now. Yeah, I think bouncing the uh, witness instead of the uh, crocodile was the misplay that cost us this game, right? Because if you bounce the um, crocodile, um, we can dramatic accusation the witness later. Or I guess they trade the witness and then we can accusation the crocodile and we still have a additional 3-3 on the board which might have just pushed through enough pressure i was just i wasn't thinking about the uh yeah the, the trans the, the flip ability gets us again i was hoping i could just accusation right yeah we pretty much die to anything so we just triple block this <laughs> I 
And if they don't have anything, the Accusation plus the Thinking Cap is lethal next turn. So intense. Okay. They are popping off of these roots. It's pretty sick. <laughs> Cause now they get to um I can see why they're running the cryptics now. They can uh exile a creature from the yard, get a bunch of um get a bunch of plants and then what does this do? Oh, they can find any creature card. Dang, yeah, if I had drawn a land last turn, the counter actually gets them here. Yeah. <laughs> we would have won the game, right? That's ah, oh, damn it. We pitched, I guess we pitched one planes at the beginning of the game and you drew no other lands after. Yeah, we're just dead here, right? Attack for three. Damn. All right. I mean, five ones is still good, but I think we win that game if I just bounce their five five instead of the uh, flyer. But still a fun, fun, uh, fun run. And honestly, the game was against me with all those triple planes. Uh, like, like the video, subscribe if you enjoyed it. See you guys next time.